All right, we got some more offline summit friendly for you guys. Um, this time we got Charlie and Spargo, but they're playing a little bit different characters here. This is actually a matchup I do want to see at a top level, so this is going to be really interesting. Charlie does work on his Sheik a lot, um, does have confidence in the Sheik, so yeah, I definitely want to see it versus the Aegis, which is the talk of the town nowadays. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Um, this is one of the matchups that it seemed that Leo um, was kind of concerned about, you know, going into Summit, actually, when in regards to uh, Aegis. So I'm really excited to see how Spargo's going to do with this. Obviously, Spargo has a different style with Aegis, but also, like you said, I can see what this could be at a top level. Um, right now, we're seeing these big sweeping hitboxes. I love the pirate play here. I think this is kind of one of the quality things about the character is that, yeah, uh, she's going to be able to compete with Mithra and with her speed and everything. Um, Pyra has those big sweep, sweeping hitboxes, right, where you just, like, you just don't want that trade because that could just be your life. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think, uh, I mean, Sheik traditionally does really well versus sword characters, but I also think um, Mithra having the speed, I don't think any sword character has ever had speed like that. Oh, mm -hmm. man, Spargo definitely life, going yeah. for that edge guard. But if you uh, if you reach a little too much against Sheik, that will be your life off stage. Yeah. Okay, into the up air conversion. Ooh, I like the the back air ending there. You could go for more up airs, but uh, Charlie just valuing the uh, you know the two frame potential, the ledge trap potential. Yeah, and I I definitely agree with that. I mean, that's one of the scary things about this character, right? We all know one of the main things that's exploitable about uh, Aegis is really the recovery. So the ability of Sheik to consistently corner carry, you go to strong damage strings there on a hit is always going to be devastating, man. And that's one of the things you saw there. He wasn't able to close it out, but still, nonetheless, going taking coast to coast here. And it has an opportunity. Yep. I like that. Yeah. yeah that's Charlie. your life. Yep. Really good job from Charlie. Just waited out the switch as well to get the finish of the Bouncing Fish to end the stock. Charlie really uh, really abusing this offstage game. Ooh, the drag down to the up tilt. I like that. A little remix here. And even in terms of just how, you know, you, you watch, obviously, uh, if you think about Sheik, you're thinking about Void as well. But Charlie having a little bit of different combo trees, but still looking great on the damage. Yeah, man. I always really like that combo tree. It kind of gets tight depending on the way they DI on that fastball up air. But he's able to make it work with the up tilt. So, ooh, my gosh. Yes, sir. Okay. That is money. That's a two stock, man. That, and that's a very important thing to see you know um just showing kind of what this character can do one of the benefits obviously we saw a couple of times where spargo went a little uh you know, over extension over on the off stage but man the corner carries were just so potent and i love just the reaction bouncing fish to switch like that is a genuine thing in this matchup right you see them kind of do anything in the scenario off stage and you can just react bouncing fish offline and that is dangerous Look at this here, coverage. Oh, has a double jump. Okay, who barely sliding by there, but yeah, almost uh, every time Spargo goes off stage, it's like the heart skips a beat, you know what I mean? That could be the stock. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, the parry as well on that very last hit on the multi-hit. That is something that doesn't get the drag down there. The foresight going to get Spargo out of that situation. Get the full charge on the needles here, and this is something you have to respect. I love the spacing coming out from Spargo using the backside of that up air as well. But whenever you see a full rack of needles on Sheik, especially when Sheik's on the ledge, you almost got to ledge trap a little differently, just the in terms of what the character has. You have to respect it, hundred percent. Oh, did you catch the double wow? Jump? That was nice. Okay, double switch. Wow, the jump side B to get the footstool as well, but kind of little scramble situation. Both players dropping a little sum sum there, but yeah. Unfortunate, Spargo did not get the air dodge down on that uh, footstool. I needed a high footstool as well, so. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's your life. Yep. So, Charlie with the little flub there. Trying to get the uh, the ledge trump directional air dodge off stage here. What's the ledge trap? The snatch? Okay. The down to. Oh, wow. Is that enough to KO? This might be it. Oh, wow. Spargo very well timed on that switch. Yeah, now the chase here from Spargo. Getting his own coast to coast. Good bear and up air. Yep. Apart from extensions. Trying to chase with that up air near the side of the blast zone. Ooh, Charlie just navigating around that side there. But wow. Oh my goodness. 
put that back here away, Charlie. Yeah. Getting dunked. Yeah. <laughs> Not today, man. Ooh. The needle. Oh, I, I like the idea there. Yeah, the needle into the raindrop for... setup. Yep. Mm -hmm. But right now, look at this. Spargo with all the control in the book right now tries to go for that. Um, down air, but gets the Sybian tacking up all this damage and th not even using the Mithra right now. The Pyra is on deck. Yeah. That's one of the things I do like also about Spargo's uh, play whenever he's using Blazing End. You notice that he'll go sometimes in situations like, all right, I know early percent Blazing End. I can go for Shield and I can just get a combo or like a 50 50 mm -hmm. by just shielding near it. And instead of going for a footstool, just going into a fair. You know, um, sometimes people will go into jabs. I like to personally do jabs against fast followers, but I really like that Spargo is always setting those things up, you know, not necessarily just going for the footstool setup. Ooh, Charlie going for a high vanish. Oh, you're dead, yeah. Yeah, the call out, maybe a jump, maybe a crouch. Nonetheless, Spargo is going to get the up smash. Okay, closing out that game right there. So yeah, that, that time uh, we saw, kind of saw Spargo in the driver's seat the whole game, right? No, we definitely did. Um, I really love him going for that up smash to close it out. Up smash goes so low too, and her she like shrinks her hurt box. She like becomes like a Pikachu man, and then before yeah. she like comes up right and just scoops you right up. So it's a very good, great tool. Um, obviously an amazing anti air just because of the startup alone in tandem with the lasting hitbox. I'm um, just it's such a good great kill move. Okay, Charlie. It's just here on the ledge, and this is this is something we've seen Spargo do uh, many times in many scenarios with many different characters. He is a very good, uh, I mean, just very consistent with ledge trapping. But uh, to me, the, the corner pressure after the ledge trap for Spargo is just what makes him so damn good, especially with the characters he yeah. plays too. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know what jab was coming out. Yeah. Okay. Sonic Edge? Oh, uh, yes. That will catch. Yeah, that move is so good, especially on Town and City on this particular transformation. Yep. Uh, oh wait, oh, you we might, might get dead. another one. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you can actually like get setups into neutral B and get yep. KOs on this yeah. uh, transformation specifically. Uh, not gonna get it here this time, uh, Charlie. I mean, it wasn't really at super like kill percent. It would have been like maybe like now if you get like a landing backer with Mithra, you could get set up into some kind of uh right. you know, set up into the new tribute that okay but looks like this transformation yeah. is on its way out though absolutely all right we're going to fd and the bouncing fish trade yes i will take all of that yep near to bouncing fish that's mm -hmm. uh that's a classic yeah okay charlie just trying to jump his way out of the corner but <laughs> i will pull the trigger on the upbeat i am not afraid and the forward to, oh, the bouncy fish barely saving Charlie there. Okay, I'm gonna get away this time around. Yeah, gonna catch him on the rollout. Good stuff there with the blazing end, and we're taking coast to coast. Good Nair, Nair is such a great coverage move. Treating Nair is such a big, sweet hitbox. Because it, comes, uh, because it comes later in the front side too, it's really good if someone's trying to just react to you doing an arrow and try to lift punish, but by that time it sweeps back around and it can protect you, so. Ooh, great foresight. And I actually really like the switch to Mithra there. Um, you know, at that point, you got Sheik to like one, you know, 130, 140. An up smash will do it, right? Like there, mm -hmm. you at that point, you don't really need like the Pyra kill power is a little overkill at that point. So I actually like that coming out from Spargo. Yeah, but can we talk about the 79 percent off the top? From oh, he's CDK? still hitting. Them. Yeah, and he's still hitting them. No, nope, no double jump. This should be a oh, forward smash. Oh, yes, and... sir, and the charge. That was uh that what was a definitely turnaround. a clean chic stock. Yeah. And it, it's again, I just really want to mention that there are other other sheiks out there doing it. You know what I mean? Charlie has been playing sheiks since Smash Four, and you guys are seeing it just right now. You know what I mean? Playing up against you know Spargo, who you know did so amazing at Summit. So um, okay, I really like it. So Spargo almost got that some very specific. Um, footstool combo that uh, Pyra has in the air. You can go ahead and, and do a full hop footstool air dodge. Oh, the air dodge yeah. will get you get your sword and then you can fare right after and it's actually a true combo and kills at around the 80%. So it's kind of wild that he recognized that situation and went for it. Yeah, Spargo really just going the distance with this character. There's the blaze or there's the neutral be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah nice light buster. 
Okay, Rage Sheik does have some stuff. We'll see if Charlie can get something started, but the drop fair, yeah, yeah gonna same. clean up that stock there. Wow, that was a pretty explosive game, man. Like, <laughs> these guys were just going back and forth, man. Oh, you yeah. saw a lot of good covers um, from the beginning of the game coming from Spargo. TDK kind of woke up in the middle of it, but then, you know, Spargo still was able to close it out towards the end. Yeah, that second, the retaliation stock from Charlie on that second stock was so sick to see, but Spargo really just came off on the respawn and really buckled down. I want to say that Spargo has some of the best, like, side B placements with Pyra I've ever yes. seen. The, the blazing I end, I believe it's called. Uh, yep. It's so, he, he knows exactly where and when to throw them out, and he makes it very clear. It's like, oh, look at me, I'm really slow, I'm, you know, pressuring with... You know, up airs or dares. This is the area I control, and it's like actually blazing in. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and it, it's sick. It's so good, and it's really a testament to his understanding of neutral and his kind of interactions because he always puts them right where people are going to be. Right? Yeah. It's not like, oh, I see you there, then I'm just gonna throw it. He's like, all right, you're gonna roll now. This is my roll read, right? Instead of me going for a dash attack or anything like that, blazing in, right? And he uses that as a very extension for to compensate for the slow speed that you have of Pyra, so I love it. Yeah, yeah, and a, a lot of people will kind of underrate, like that That essentially is Pyra's burst option, is that side B, is, or at yeah. least the horizontal burst option, in True. a sense where you have to respect it. And again, look, this is this is Spargo kind of just going based off of feeling situation. The Pyra's out, even though the Sheik's at 50%. There, there are no like quote unquote rules with this character in terms of when and where you have to use, you know, which character. True. Take it up, airs. Almost got the whiff punish there. That that is a move. I feel like a lot of people are still kind of getting used to punishing. The Mithranair is good, uh, but. I, I feel like there are, uh, there's definitely more windows in which players can punish, punish True. it, you know? Oh, opportunity here. Yep, fall through up there. The grenade. Grenade's surprisingly good in this game. Yeah. I'll just get the down tilt he wanted. So the opportunity and pressure, fall through Nair. Oh, good snipe. shot. So Spargo is one of the few uh, Aegis uh, players that I have seen do that. What a great anti-air, by the way, with the forward smash. Mm -hmm. But like, I love that Spargo is willing to do these preemptive up Bs just to get the shot out, you know, um, either the single shot or the chroma dust to halt recoveries. Like, such a great tool. The single one goes particularly far as well, so you can get some lower recoveries, but we don't see that enough from most people. They usually try to get the initial hit of the up B rather than the, just the shot itself needed to Ooh, wasn't yeah, enough. not gonna make it. Nope. That yeah. is edge guarding. Yeah, I tried to go for that uh, mix up where you kind of like show, like pump fake the Mithra side B. So Charlie kind of positioned to cover it, but goes for another switch into the Pyra up B. That snap can be pretty far horizontally yeah. when Pyra's mm -hmm. at the peak of the up B, but it was sure. it just wasn't close enough. Ooh, big damage Ooh, though. Man. What's happening? Very the big damage. Ooh, you are good. You are good. <laughs> Again, with the reactions to the switch, I love that, man, man. because he's using that, that audio cue right there. Like, yeah, you know, usually air dodges in general, you know, you can be right in that fashion, but that's one of the kind of cool things I love seeing from players, just using the audio cue, and they're like, all right, boom, now. Up there, up air, definitely not something I see a lot of Mythers do, but we're seeing it coming out here from Spargo. Yeah. It's actually a really good play instead of down throw when it comes down to this percentage. It's easier to do, um, and that up air gives you a whole much of frame advantage to get that bear to up B. I mean, he pretty much got like 50 from that. Very simple yeah. interaction. Yeah, Charlie's still trying to get off of this ledge. Again, we've seen Spargo do this to many players of many calibers. Yep. Oh, and there's the air dodge. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yep, yes, sir. You have to respect that big up air. Bouncing fish. Okay, are we going for edge guard here? Ooh, I, I think may, maybe he did want to set up the grenade actually, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe just not expecting Sparrow to go for the immediate side B there. Yeah. Ooh, what a dominating uh, lead though from Spargo here. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Geez. Well, even more dominating. <laughs> yeah, Charlie uh, contemplating life on that angel platform right now. Yeah. 
Okay, some damage here goes for the drop zone. But we've seen Charlie do some uh, do some crazy stuff with Sheik. Again, True. we talk about the corner carry into the edge guard setup. Obviously, you still have to nail the edge guard too. The edge guard isn't free right. after the corner carry, but um, just a very strong tool to have against uh, characters True. with weak recovery. Is just a general corner carry. But let's see if Charlie can set up the situation, man. It, it feels like Spargo just is getting every single hit that he needs. There, not gonna get it. So one thing I do love about Spargo is he loves to go for this. Uh, oh this wow, gosh. that is your soul, <laughs> Jesus. Well, that <laughs> was know? one hell of a game five. Yeah, man, that, dude, <laughs> my man was awoken. Um, but I was gonna say that one of the things that uh, he loves to go for is um, when it comes down to. Or like mid percents, and he gets you off stage with Mithra. He loves to go for the early switch into a dash attack Pyra, because if you're lazy and you try to fall down, which most people do, because they're like, right, I'm just go slow and recover low, you get hit by that move and you are dead, right? right? Or you do a lazy jump, you are dead. And those are percents you usually don't think you're going to get killed by, right? Yeah. Um, but he's gotten quite a bit of people with that dash attack at the edge because it extends so far across the edge. That's a huge sword. So, man, that that was pretty damn lit, dude. What an exciting game five. Obviously, insane three stock from Spargo. Um, but a lot of promise that we saw from Charlie in terms of the, again, the corner carries, right? The name of the game, the edge guards. How can you pin that down? Because once you once she gets those buttons, right, on the character, they, just, they got to hold that, right? Like, it doesn't matter right. what character you are. Like, you are going to the corner. And you got to show me what you got. And I think that Sheik's ability to kind of take them out of their element there and even cover, you know, be able to kind of, uh, you know, deal with the foresight, just getting those tight combos down, it really does paint a different perspective of what uh, Aegis can do. So uh, I was really excited to see that matchup um, kind of worked like we both kind of theorized and stuff as well. Looks pretty good, man. Looks pretty good for Sheik. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, it very explosive set to just entertaining in terms of play styles from both players. But again, we'll be coming out with more exhibition matches from uh, Summit for you guys on this channel. If you guys did enjoy the match, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.